you have products already in your store that you would like to add personalization to. So how do we do this? Well, if you have your existing products and you want to add customization, you will go straight and create a template. Right now, what we did was modify a template that customly created for us by combining design and product base, correct? That's one way of creating a template. The advantage of this merging process is that you not only create a template, but you also create a new product in the store. Now, if you want to use an existing product, all you have to do is go to the store section, find, of course, uh, go to link products and filter by those products that don't have any, uh, they are not linked to custom, which is, if you're starting with custom, it's probably going to be the most of them, but you can always filter in here. When I say not linked, I will find that I have these school labels or this tote bag. I'm selling this tote bag and I want to turn this customizable. So I click here. And you see, Customity allows us to pick a template and from that template, create the options or pick another option set we have saved in our collection. But you can always link any template that you have or you create with any product that you want. Let's say I can go and choose template and I see my collection. If I don't have any templates, of course, what I need to do is I need to go to the template section and create a new template. Creating a new template basically will allow you to set the print file with all the customizable elements and set the preview with the customizable elements plus the images of the product. In the end, you end up with what you saw in our example here. You see the print on one side and you see the preview on the other side. But by creating the template, you craft that by hand and have full control of all the details. Once you're filled with that template, you click here, choose template, and you find that in your collection. Let me go and see if I can have a tote bag. OK, so I do have a design for a tote bag. I'm going to pick this one. I, I probably have this template working on another product, but it's OK because you can always pick any template for any product. And if you don't have the option, you can click here to create the app right away or say not now. And that way, you are turning this tote bag into a customizable product because now you are instructing the loading of a template in an option set on the front end. Let's just, OK, finished. We can click on Save Product. And if you want to see this working, just click on the eye icon. And it will go straight to your store to show you the front end. This is the tote bag. And now custom it is loading because you instructed that to show on the front end. Of course, the, um, the alignment will depend entirely on how you create your template. This picture of the tote bag will be replaced by the custom live preview uh, of the template. It's not that we are going to be loading inside of this image. We will replace that with whatever we have in our template. So make sure when you, you want to turn one of your products into something customizable, make sure you have all the images. You have images of your product in all possible colors, sizes, or whatever. You have those images blank without customization. You know exactly where the custom part will be, how it's going to look. So everything that you need as graphics to make sure you portray uh, your product as real as possible, but being customizable, you need to have it in order to upload that to the template. If one day you decide you no longer want to customize this product, all you have to do is go back to Customity, click on the X here and click on here, save the product, and your listing will return to whatever it was before Customity, just like that. A simple product that you can add to cart at any moment.